Hey guys, it's Lisa. This is going to be a video on my drugstore gems, the drugstore items that I really love and have repurchased quite a few times. So I'll just get started. <laughs> um, recently I've been trying to go paraben free, which is a little bit more difficult than I thought. Um, a lot of my products have parabens in them, mostly like moisturizers and such like that. So I was kind of on the hunt for a paraben free moisturizer that didn't cost me a whole bunch. And St. Ives actually has a line of their, like, a 100% natural moisturizers, it says. It's, a like, a more natural lotion line. And they're all actually paraben-free. And it was less than $4 on sale at Target when I bought it. They have a few different varieties. I got the one that's the Natural Fruit AHA Complex, it says. Mostly because I like the smell of it compared to the other ones. But I've been really liking it as a lightweight everyday moisturizer. Um, when I'm a little bit more dry, I still have been kind of just to use them up. Some of my other like more body creams. But I would definitely recommend the Paraben Free St. Ives Lotion Line. It's been really good. I've been happy with it. And I've used quite a bit so far. Then um, another drugstore item, which I think I have a... Yeah, I do. I have a video on this actually. Comparing it to the Philosophy Micro Delivery Peel. This is basically the same thing and for like way, um, it's just way cheaper. This is the Olay Regenerous Micro Delivery or Micro Derm Abrasion Treatment, excuse me. These are the crystals that you smooth on your face first and then you put the activator and smooth it over when a froth, like a kind of gets a little frothy forms and then you rinse off your face. It does a great job at exfoliating and just gives you a nice glow and it's way cheaper than the philosophy um, version and works just as well for me. So, then I know I mentioned this as well too, but these are all my drugstore favorites, so I had to include it. I won't talk that long about them, but got to mention them. Um, L'Oreal has some great tanning products. This is the Sublime Bronze um, One Day Tinted Gel. It's exact, it does exactly what, it's, what it sounds like it would do. It's a one day tinted gel that you smooth over your, over your skin. It's very buildable. Once it dries, I have not had a problem with the transferring on anything, but it's basically like an instant tan in a bottle that you can touch up really easily because you can see exactly what spots you missed or um, and it's tinted so you can see where it's going right away and so you don't have to wait for it to develop and uh, you just wash it off at night or whenever you take a shower it just washes right off. Love this stuff and then there's a um, spray tanning product that I really like from L'Oreal too that I have a video on but I can't remember what it is right now and I'm not gonna grab it but L'Oreal has some great some amazing tanning products. Uh, some better than others, but they're out there. The, the good ones are out there. Um, the drugstore, <coughs> excuse me, the drugstore um, or Target or wherever is also a great place to get lashes. This is just a pack of Revlon ones that I had sitting around. Um, they're inexpensive. There's usually a pretty good variety of, of the lashes, um, and you can find them pretty much anywhere. Uh, for hair care products, I have my Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray. I've gone through so many bottles of this. It's like three or four bucks usually. Um, it's an alcohol-free heat protectant. I love this stuff. Then along with more hair care, I have... Now, I try to do alcohol-free, but um, what it comes down to sometimes is if it works, what works best for my hair. And when it comes to hairspray, I... I bought the L'Oreal alcohol free hairspray and it's okay but it's not exactly um, my favorite so I just use this one usually instead um, even though they're both from the drugstore this is my favorite <laughs> it's the John Frieda luxurious volume extra hold hairspray super fine mist which I really like that and they it says that it's for fine hair I do not have fine hair um, at all but I don't think it really matters with this hairspray it works great for me it gives me great volume and isn't overpowering um, when it comes to the scent. So I do really like this and you can find it anywhere. And it's, I can't remember exactly how much it was, but I think around like, I think I got it for maybe less than five because I had a coupon at CVS. But then I mentioned this as well also, <laughs> but, or before as well, but this is the L'Oreal Evercreme. Um, cleansing conditioner. I've been using this a lot. I really like it. I've tried other cleansing conditioners like the one and the one from Kerastase. And this one 
is actually my favorite. So I really like this, and I think it's like 6 or $7 at the drugstore. One of my favorite shower gels it can be found at the drugstore. It's the Burt's Bees Baby Bee Shampoo and Wash. I have used it as a shampoo, and I do kind of like it, actually. And But I mostly use it as a shower gel. I tend to have sensitive skin, and um, this gives me no problem at all, and I love the smell of it. Another baby product <laughs> um, is baby shampoo. I actually use this as brush cleanser, and I have a video on that, um, just how I use it as a brush cleaner. But it's mostly for the days where I um, my nose itches, when I'm kind of doing like a deep clean on my brushes, rather than just kind of an everyday or every once in a while spot clean. Um, it takes me a long time to go through a bottle this size of baby shampoo, but it's the cheapest brush cleaner I've found at like three or four dollars for a bottle this size, maybe even less than that, um, and you only use a tiny bit at a time. So that's kind of like hair, skin, uh, that kind of stuff. Now we'll go on to makeup and other items. I kind of been putting them in this bag so I wouldn't forget um, to show you in this video. Um, Sony Casher at Target has pretty darn good brushes. Um, I just, I guess I should have shown an actual brush, <laughs> but um, this is one of the things that I use every day. It's a spoolie. I use it for my eyebrows to kind of smooth them down. I like this better than the brush side of the eyelash comb. I got this for $1.99 at Target. I use it every single day. I almost picked up a MAC one at the um, cosmetic company outlet store. But it was like $8, and I was like, no, that seems like a lot. I'm sure I could get one cheaper. Sure enough, I found this one at Target for $1.99, and I love it. It does the same thing. And the rest of her brushes are really nice, too. One of my favorite eyeshadow brushes is actually a Sonia Kashuk brush. Um, I guess going in eye products, uh, as far as eyeshadow, I don't have a ton from the drugstore, but I think I'm... Sorry. <laughs> well cut out those noisy people if we can. Um, the These two, I think I found the two like best drugstore um, eyeshadow products. <laughs> um, I may certainly be wrong about that because I haven't tried them all, but I do really, really like these and I think they're pretty impressive for the price and the widespread availability of these items is awesome. So the first one um, is the Wet n Wild eyeshadow palettes that they have. And this one is in Silent Treatment, number 335. It's three really pretty colors. And I haven't used the little things that come with, but I have tried all the colors. It's kind of like a um, peachy, flush-toned color. Um, a dark brown with a little bit of shimmer in it. And like a taupey gray. But they're really pretty. And the other colors that they have, too were really pretty. There's some kind of funky ones, but basically, I mean, you could kind of find anything that you are looking for. You could find it in this Wet n' Wild line. So, and these, this was $2.99 at CBS. You can't beat that for high quality, because um, they're really great quality shadows. I use them with a primer, though. Um, I almost use all powder shadows that I own, always with a primer. But, um, yeah, they worked. They were just as well as like my Urban Decay, um, pretty much any of my other shadows. They were definitely comparable. So I really like that. Another one which I mentioned before is the 24 Hour Infallible eyeshadow from L'Oreal. They come in little pots. There is a pretty good shade range in these. This is the Bronze Taupe. I don't need to use a primer with this. It's kind of like a. It's not powder. I'm not really sure how you would describe the texture of this. Um, that's just one little touch. You can see, but these are really great, awesome, lasting power. Um, I'm surprised I still only have one of these, but I have a lot of stuff, so I try not to get too much. <laughs> but I do really, really like these; they're awesome. Then you could probably saw that black line on my hand. It is my one of my favorite liquid liners. In general, actually, and it's from the drugstore. It's the L'Oreal Carbon Black Liner Intense. And that was just one little swipe. And you can obviously go from thicker to quite thin. Excuse me. And I love just the tip of it. 
It's not too flexible, but it has enough um, flexibility to it to work how you want it. Like it's it's just a really user friendly liquid liner product. I love it. Remember the black color is really nice and black. Then just a few more items and then I'll say adios. Um, Revlon Photo Ready Powder. I use this quite often. This is in the shade light medium. I use it mostly as a finishing powder. It's super light, silky smooth. Um, this is my second one that I've used. Um, I'm on my second one. This is the second one. It's just a really nice face powder, a pressed powder. I like it. And it's talc free. I try to get stuff that's talc free. And this one is talc free. I really like that. So I don't have that itch factor. And um, I just, I've, I read one time that talc, and this may totally be a bogus lie, <laughs> but it kind of scared me of talc. But talc, um, in the article I read somewhere, I can't remember where, it's been a long time, but since I read the article, but it said something about how talc causes um is one of the factors that causes like crepiness so like on your lid and like kind of ages your skin so i don't know if that's 100 percent true but i tend to stay away from talc anyway mostly because of the itch factor that i can get off of it but um if that can help save me from like creepy eyelids and stuff that's fine too <laughs> that's fine <laughs> so um one of the things you can find at the drugstore which i think is a really good everyday staple which i'm not good about wearing but it is a nice product i'm better about wearing it in the summer but i should the year round. It's the Neutrogena um, Ultra Sheer Liquid Sunscreen. This is an SPF 55. You only need a few drops of this, which I like. So this little tiny bottle will last you quite a long time. And it feels just as sheer on your skin. So I really love that. And I think this is like probably about 10 to $13 um, at like Target or CVS or something like that. Um, favorite drugstore mascara is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. I like the Carbon Black because it's a really nice, rich, dark black. It doesn't flake on me. gives a nice full lash volume effect on my lashes. And um, I think it has like vitamin E in here that's supposed to be conditioning. I don't wear this every day, but I do like it. And for drugstore mascara, this stuff is awesome. I don't think it's a too big of a surprise. I think a lot of people are huge fans of the uh, L'Oreal Voluminous. Some lip products, and then I'm done. Um, the EOS lip balms. They come in these little, like, round balls that twist open. And then there's the lip product. Not only is it a really good lip balm, um, and I think they're, like, organic or mostly natural. The packaging is just cute. I like them. But for a drugstore lip balm, I really like these. Revlon Lipsticks. Um, I think I only have one actual lipstick, but this is a soft nude. They are very pigmented, um, reasonably priced, and just a great lipstick overall. The last two, they're kind of competing with me. They're competing with each other with me. Um, I think the baby lips one is winning, but they're the two um, like lip balm type lip colors from the drugstore. They're the Revlon Lip Butters. This one is in Cotton Candy. I have a few shades, but I tend to wear this one a lot. This is a really nice pink. But I, I think I find the Maybelline Baby Lips one more moisturizing. Um, this is in the shade Peach Kiss. So, so far I'm liking the Maybelline Baby Lips ones better. But they're both really nice drugstore lip products um, and come in a nice uh, range of shades, uh, especially the Revlon one. I think this the Revlon has a little bit better shade range, but I haven't seen, I may be wrong about that because I haven't seen as many um, of the Baby Lips products or Maybelline in my area yet. It's mostly been the Revlon Lip Butters. So that's my drugstore gems video, mostly. Um, all found, well, all of them are found at either like Walmart, Target, CVS, Walgreens, all those kind of stores. And I think all of them, my, except for the sunscreen, are $10 or less. No, that's not true, except for the sunscreen and the Olay product. I think this is about $25, but everything else is about $10 or less. So I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching, and until next time, bye.